Well, I've been wanting to do this video for a long time now, and I think I've been waiting for the conditions to be just perfect, you know, um, or at least better. I wanted to have better lighting, better mic, better camera, but I think I just need to, to get it out there uh, and not leave some of you hanging because you've been wondering. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, if you may be watching um, and you don't know what this is all about, I had a YouTube channel back in 2010. I took it down a couple of years later, but uh, one series of videos that I did on the topic of feminism were re-uploaded to YouTube by viewers. I had plenty of other videos um, that I think may have been better videos even, I'm not sure, <laughs> but uh, this series is the one that ended up being re-uploaded. Um, I had no idea what YouTube was, honestly when I first started making videos. I, I grew up without a computer or the internet really. And um, when I discovered YouTube, I thought how neat a platform to talk about the things that I'm passionate about. And I really thought that it was gonna be something I would share, you know, on my Facebook wall, my friends would watch my videos, maybe some other people out there in the world. I had no idea that I would end up with thousands of, of subscribers. Um, I had no idea that there was an anti-feminist movement, didn't know about the men's rights movement, didn't know that there were other women on YouTube making um, videos about feminism, opposing feminism. Um, there weren't that many then um, to begin with, but I wasn't aware of, of any. I want to sincerely apologize for leaving YouTube suddenly and without explanation. Um, my subscribers did not deserve that. And I didn't realize how many people would be worried and concerned. I understand YouTube culture much better now than I did then. And years later, I discovered how many people had been asking where I went. So I'm very sorry to have been the cause of that. Make a long story, very long story, somewhat short, some sort of stalker figured out my family's address um, based on the fact that I mentioned in one of my videos that it was snowing. He somehow tracked weather patterns across the country, used Google Earth, um, coordinated with a couple other details he picked up and um, eventually found us. A couple of years later, he was still trying to contact me using one alias after another. He eventually found out where I attended school. It was a, a Bible school, two-year Bible college, and he called the school. At this point, the school's contingency team was concerned because he was a part of some sort of international organization, um, secret international organization that he wanted me to join. Um, he was very vague. It wasn't clear what it was that he was talking about. We had no idea of knowing who this was or his true motives. Um, but in any case, he kept sending me these literally book length messages and was not honoring our requests to stop trying to contact me. At the time, my now husband, who was my fiance at the time, and I were planning to get involved with an overseas organization that didn't want us to have a huge digital footprint. So taking into account our, our future and the fact that this stalker evidently knew where my family lived, uh, my husband and the school asked me to delete my YouTube account as soon as possible uh, to prevent similar future situations. I have no doubt that it was the right thing to do, um, but I was also incredibly sorry to not leave my subscribers any sort of explanation. Uh, at the same time, I didn't know how to do that without making another video and showing up again. So um, I probably should have let Bernard Chapin know of Chapin's Inferno. Um, what was going on so he could pass along the information to anyone who asked, but um, I didn't. Long story short, I am happy and healthy. I'm loving life. I have a husband and three young children, and I'm currently pregnant with our fourth. Still uh, exposing feminism as much as ever, but in my current season of life, that's largely taken the form of Facebook posts and other social media platforms. Um, when my husband and I reached the semi-recent decision that it was probably time for me to take the risk and have a YouTube channel again, um, a former subscriber sent me a link to a channel that had re-uploaded 
uh, my feminism series. And I was shocked <laughs> to note that the video has over 600,000 views and like 8,000 comments. Um, and I think it was at that point that I read some of the comments and rumors about my disappearance that I really began to feel terrible about not leaving any kind of an explanation. At any rate, um, this is still a huge passion of mine and it's my goal to see hearts genuinely transformed. I love having conversations about these things with women in real life and online. Um, I'm grateful to occasionally hear from women who tell me that I changed their mind on feminism because of the conversations we had or books that I was able to recommend to them. Um, so that's been very rewarding. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment them and I'll try to get back to you later. I'm not going to be making videos regularly right now. Like I said, I'm pregnant with my fourth child. I really want to prioritize my husband and my family, my children, uh, in this season especially. But in the near future, whatever exactly that means, I am very much looking forward to making videos again. Um, I guess bottom line, I did receive death threats and was heckled quite a bit while I was on YouTube, but those were not ultimately my reasons for leaving. Uh, thank you to everyone who has asked about me and my safety. You are the best and I'm very deeply touched by the grace and kindness and loyalty that you have shown me. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you around.